either. So this is uh, a difficult situation they find themselves in, but Lee Adams, true class, if anybody can do it, he can. Well, he has to beat an opposing rider then to score double points, and he's off a 15-metre handicap. Kauko Niemann goes off gate one in the blue helmet colour. Travis McGowan goes off gate two in yellow for Swindon. Thomas Jedrzak goes off gate three in red, and from a 15-metre handicap, going for double points, it is Lee Adams, and significantly as well, what this also enables Swindon to do, Kelvin, as long as they're 10 behind, they can nominate another rider later in the meeting to go uh, from the start line for double points. So no rider yet, as you can see there, yeah. has done Please anything I'm from I'm game four. I'm just pleased that Lee Adams can't see that, and uh, he, uh, he'll be giving it everything he's got here. They need him. Yep, double points then is what is required. Uh, but it's the man in the blue helmet, Kevko Niemann, who's made a good start. McGowan is going to be pressed here now by Thomas Jedrzak, and that is not what Swindon needed. This is perfect from the Lakeside Hammers. Now, Travis McGowan has got to look and allow Lee Adams to come through, and what a ride. He's already challenging the man in the red helmet colour, Thomas Jedrzak, and he's getting up the inside, going for double points. He has to pass a Lakeside rider for his points to count for double. Yeah. Remember, he's got off that 15 metre handicap. He has indeed, he's trying ever so hard, but I've got to say that Stephen uh, did a great self on the start. Lee Adams up the inside, now finally he gets up the inside of Jedrzak. Can he hold it in second place? Jedrzak will turn back up the inside. No, yes, he now gets back <laughs> up the inside. Back to the stop here once again at Lakeside. Jedrzak back in the second place. Unfortunately for the Robins, it's not quite working out. Neiman is going to pick it up out front on the line. What a finish to the race it was, and full credit to that guy. It was a brave, brave effort from a 15-metre handicap, and that's oh. what the referee is seeing now. And it looks... I thought for a moment, Nigel, he might just have got there. What a spectacular performance. Neiman and out front was just superb. Yeah, you've got to give... Uh, you've got to feel for Lee Adams there. He gave it everything he knew, but Jedrzak signed late on in the season. Superb in second place. And remember, getting third spot means uh, that he doesn't score double because you have to beat an opposing rider. So it's a 5-1. Neiman and the winner, Jedrzak, who, by the way, if they get to the final, will be at reserve for both legs of the final. Ooh. Jedrzak with third place, Adams. It's 33-15. Neiman makes a fantastic start here off of gate one because McGowan needed to get across in front of him and actually slam him on the curve and slow the race at this very early stage and maybe Adams could have got to the front. Neiman is superb, he pulls away, he comes under no pressure at all. Adams down the inside, that was superb, but he can't hold the inside. Jedlizek then turns it back off, gets his wheels in line and repays the compliment on the entrance to the first turn for the third time. Adams then struggles. It's a great stuff, but you've got to give credit to the pole. He does superbly well to hang on to second place. And a big 5-1 and nullifies the double point scoring efforts from Lee Adams. Look at that, just hangs on. If Adams hadn't have lifted, who knows, he may have grabbed it. Well, magnificent speedway as we head back to Wimborne Road Pool. It's Paul against Ipswich.